how, where, and when. Yeah, an adverb is always helping. Yeah, when the verb needs addressing. An adverb is a blessing. Yeah, Yo, yeah. step one, find a verb. Then step two, find that word that adds info to that verb. Yeah. Guess what? It's called an adverb. Yo, I spy with my little eye a certain word that ends in ly. And most of the time, this rule will get you by. And if it doesn't, don't worry. The rest of the time, think of how, where, and when. Yeah, yeah. An adverb is always helping when a verb needs addressing. Yeah, yeah. An adverb is helping. Break it down. Yo, slowly, swiftly. Suddenly, unpredictably, all of these adverbs can stick with me, along with the following melody. Check it. How, where, and when? An adverb is always helping. Yeah. When a verb needs addressing, yeah. an adverb yeah. is a blessing. Yeah. 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 Hi, everyone. Welcome to today's online class. Today we are going to continue our review on using adverbs. Last time we used adverbs that describe time and frequency. Today we will look at adverbs that describe objects and things. Okay, let's begin. Let's take a look at our first example. Careful. Carefully. Okay, let's use these words in a sentence. They are careful children. She is driving carefully. You can see to make an adverb we add L-Y. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Easy. Easily. Okay, repeat after me. It is an easy sum. She is doing her homework easily. Okay, in this example you can see easy becomes easily, but be careful. We have to change the Y to an I before we add LY, easily. Okay, next. Quick. Quickly. A cheetah is a fast animal. Let's practice together. And he is typing quickly. Again, we can see that we add ly to quick to make quickly. Next, happy, happily. The boy is happy. And children are playing happily. Again, we can see happy plus ly, but we have to change the y to an i. Happily. Okay. Next. Loud. Loudly. The music is a loud noise. They are laughing loudly. Again, you can see loud plus ly. 
loudly. Next, Elise is a quiet girl. They are reading quietly. Quiet, quietly. Again, you can see we add ly to quiet to make quietly. Okay, this one is a little different. Good. Well. Please repeat after me. Good job. They are singing well. Good. Well. This is an odd one, so be careful. Some other adverbs also change the word. Okay, let's do a game to practice using adverbs. I will show you a sentence. Please think of the correct word to fill in the gap. Okay, let's take a look at our first sentence. He skipped down the road to school. Happy or happily? You got it! Okay, the answer is... You got it! Happily. Next. She sings beautifully. She is a singer. Good. Well. What do you think? Okay, it is not well. This time we are not using an adverb. We are using an adjective. So we say, she is a good singer. Next. They planned their holidays in Spain very careful, carefully. What do you think? You got it! You got it! Okay, the answer is carefully. Well done. Next. My sister is a girl. She is friendly with everyone. What do you think? Oh no! Oh no! Okay. Again, we are using an adjective instead of an adverb. So, the answer this time is nice. Next. I don't want to go with him. He drives too well fast. What do you think? You got it! You got it! Okay. 
The answer is fast. I don't want to go with him, so maybe he is a bad driver. So instead of well, we use fast. Okay. They could see the movie because they finished their work very quick. Quickly. You got it. Okay. You got it. The answer is quickly. Well done. Next. They are fantastic dancers. They dance really good. Well. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. In this sentence, we want to use the phrase well. Next. Please turn the radio down. It's too loud. Loudly. Oh, okay. No. Oh, no. Loudly is the adverb, but in this sentence we need to use the adjective to describe the radio. So the answer is loud. Next. This bus is too... We will be late for school. You got it! You got it! Okay. We are using an adjective to describe the bus. So, we have to use slow. Excellent. Next. This dog is... He can't stand a hungry cat. Angry. Angrily. Okay, again we are describing the dog. The dog is angry. If we describe the dog's action, then we can use angrily. So, angry is the correct answer this time. Okay, I can't hear her. She speaks too quiet, quietly. You got it. You got it. Okay, the answer is quietly. We are describing what she does, so we have to use the adverb quietly. Next. This street is too noisy. I'm getting nervous. Nervously. What do you think is the answer? You got it. 
Okay. In this sentence, we have to use nervous. This describes our feeling. Okay, that's all we have time for. I hope you enjoyed today's online class. Until next time, bye-bye.